was a huge anti-poverty right. program um, that allowed just in the summer kids to eat, you know, kids who had and kids who didn't. We all gathered in that school. What ways could the federal Department of Education um, impact poverty in this country? We know that how good your school is often depends on your zip code, it right. depends on the tax base right. where you live. Are there ways that federal education policy could actually help to alleviate poverty? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think um, the, uh, the school lunch program should be available during the summer. I've worked hard actually with a Republican from Arkansas to expand it for the summer and also to make it um, uh, available for distribution outside of schools as well because for a lot of kids li living in rural parts of the country they're not living near a school and the food needs to be near the kid for the kid to be able to have lunch so that I think is a really important point that you raise look out of what we spend on k-12 education in this country nine percent of it is federal dollars so there's a limit to what we can do from the federal government but I think there's some very important responsibilities the federal government has. You know, we, we have a hugely important civil rights function. That's why there is a Department of Education. And that's something that we have to enforce. And Betsy DeVos has done exactly the opposite of it. I mean, I could never have imagined as horrible uh, uh, an education secretary as her, but we, also, we need an education secretary who's actually focused on how to make it better. So Title I money, which has never been spent properly in this country, never been spent properly, because it's based on average budgets in schools rather than actual budgets in schools, which is why we've ended up with this massive subsidy in American schools running from, wealthy, from poor kids to wealthy kids in America. We need to change that. And I've been trying to change it for the last 10 years or so. There's more work to do there so that the money that we are spending actually goes to the purpose that's intended in that case for high poverty schools. And let me say one last thing about your neighborhood, if I can. There were many years, and in fact, the, my mayor, Mayor Hancock, Michael Hancock, ran an ad the first time he ran saying, why is it, he lives in Montbello, why is it, why is it